going on there folks good morning good afternoon to some out there it's the earth master here on the live stream with an update video on this monday pretty busy monday november 28th 2022 it's about 9 47 a.m here in california and the uh, latest earthquake activity shows some movement there in southern california but notice a lot of the earthquakes here showing up across the globe on hawaii the big island of hawaii if you haven't heard already i'm sure you have um well it's currently erupting mauna loa that is on the big island this here is the latest information here from the usgs volcanoes program and they got mauna loa up there in the red category and warning that is a sign that it is erupting um now there is a little bit of info coming out here from the usgs volcanoes the latest uh, latest update this morning shows that alert level from morning uh to the red the eruption of mauna loa has migrated from the summit uh, to the northeast rift zone where fissures are feeding several lava flows now it looks as though uh it looks as though for right now uh this lava is coming from the vents on the northeast rift zone and uh, the flows are moving down slope to the north. Uh, currently, doesn't look like any flows are threatening uh, communities down slope. Uh, and all indications are that the eruption will remain in the northeast rift zone for now. Uh, volcanic gas and possibly fine ash uh, may be carried a downed wind. So watch for that. Uh, this is definitely not an explosive eruption. Most of the uh, volcanoes there on Big Island don't uh, have that type of effect. But uh, definitely developing here at Mauna Loa. Uh, Missy Mimi has woke me up somewhat early in the morning and said, I think, uh, I think um, Mauna Loa is kind of erupting or going to erupt because there was quite a few earthquakes popping off earlier this morning. But uh, I was completely out of it. I couldn't, uh, couldn't wake up to see that. I want to show you guys a couple different images here that were taken from the USGS Volcanoes posted here about 20 minutes ago. Just starting to get light out there. Looks like uh, there's those flows coming out of the, the vents there on the northeast rift zone. Pretty cool looking. Um, this is, you know, it's it's been a while since Mauna Loa has erupted since the 1980s. And we have been seeing a pretty good swarm of activity here in the area of Mauna Loa. I would say up until about two days ago, um, things when things went awfully quiet. It was just completely quiet here around Mauna Loa. Uh, but as we look at the earthquake map here right now, things are definitely ramping up there still with the uh, earthquake activity. And that's going to continue. We're going to have to watch this pretty closely now that it's uh, uh, broken through the surface there, through the vents. We'll keep an eye on the migration of these uh, swarms that could indicate further magma intrusion here to the area. But uh, crazy. Um, here is the seismograph station there from when it about when it... Uh, Kind of about when it began it was kind of late last night as uh, far as the earthquake activity goes let me bring up the uh, other map here real quick see what we got for seismograph stations around the northeastern uh, area past 24 hours yeah, it looks like it started really kicking in late last night here uh, and then um wow crazy about the time I went to bed about uh, looks like oh 11 or so 11 30 so let's see what else we have here uh, any information on regards to this looks like uh, residents at risk for Mauna Loa lava flow should review preparedness and refer to Hawaii County Civil Defense information for th further guidance uh, there's a lot of information being floated around out there on social media, I'm sure. But, uh, goodness, pretty crazy. What a way to start a Monday, right? Here's one of the looks here, or uh, a webcam 
uh, from the caldera from the northwest rim. There's going to be uh, definitely some, what is that, they call it VOG, uh, volcanic gases out there. So watch for that if you're on the big island. Man, I would have loved to have been out there for that, but still could be uh, could be very active for quite some time. Of course, Kilauea Volcano is continuing as well with the uh, eruptive stage. And that sits just over here to the east. All right, let's see. Let me look at earthquake activity and see what we got currently. Um, at least on the big island, we got 102 earthquakes. Goodness, that's a pretty good uptick in earthquake activity from, like I said, the last two days. There was nothing up here at all. Uh, so obviously, um, something moved, something adjusted, and um, things started to flow. We, hadn't, we haven't really seen any major earthquakes around the globe here in the uh, last 24 hours. But uh, I guess Mauna Loa decided to make its presence known. I think I mentioned this uh, a little bit back that we were going to see this kick up real soon. Just didn't know when. Uh, they wanted, I guess uh, the volcano wanted a couple days of quietness before things broke loose. Uh, but again, for now, most of the activity there on the northeastern section of the um, on the vents on the northeast rift zone is what I'm trying to say. So we'll watch that closely for any further migration. Let's see what we got for large scale uh, magnitudes there. It looks like we did have a 4.2. Should have seen that, man. I went to bed kind of late, but it seems like that's when it all started to happen. Yeah, it looks like uh, just right around midnight or 1 o'clock my time here is when it all really, really started to pop. But uh, that's okay. I mean, things are still going. Um, you know, could get interesting here over the next uh, several days, weeks, and months. Um, perhaps years. Uh, volcanoes do go on for quite a while here along the Big Island. Uh, Kilauea Volcano's been... Uh, Coming up pretty, uh, oh, it's, I think it's been almost uh, what, almost a year now. Continual eruption, probably a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's crazy. So, if you are out there, I think we do have quite a few folks there on the big island watching this channel. Uh, if you got any pictures, or if, if you can see any pictures, see any, uh, Interesting events going on out here around the Mauna Loa Volcano. Send them to me and uh, we'll share them out here on the channel, earthmastermel at gmail.com. But uh, for now, things staying pretty active there, it looks like, with the earthquake activity. And we'll watch it. We'll con continue to monitor that. Looks like they are putting updates out. Uh, should be here on a regular basis. Um, based on past events, the early stages of Mauna Loa Rift Zone eruption can be very dynamic and the location and advance of lava flows can change rapidly. So, but again, for now, Northeast, uh, Rift Zone flows are moving down slope to the north. Uh, there's quite a few, uh, oh, that's good. That's not good. This is the, uh, Hawaii. Um, Hawaii County Civil Defense alerts and maps not working. It looks like they have closed the road uh, to Mauna Loa. Uh, 1984 was when the last eruption was there. And it looks like lava flows from the northeast rift zone can travel in northwest, northwest, south, and southwest directions. So pretty much everywhere except east. Updates on the status of Mauna Loa will be posted on the HVO site. Looks like you can uh, receive uh, text messages as well for any notifications and upgrade or uh, updates. But uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on that. 
because that's a uh, definitely a new event popping off there at Mauna Loa. All right, let's see what else we have here for earthquake activity. Start out here along the west coast. The movement uh, looks like kicking up here in Southern California. This is the other area that's been awfully quiet along the west coast over the past two days. Doesn't look like there's been any uh, major adjustment going on here along the uh, California area. Just a couple spotty earthquakes uh, throughout the region. No major direct swarms going on. Um, up in Northern California, about the same. Right around Washington. We've got Mount St. Helens up here. Uh, a couple small micro, or at least one small microquake here on the northwestern or northern side of the volcano. Check out that seismograph station here in just a little bit. Uh, Yellowstone National Park not really showing anything, which is good. Let's see what we got for the uh, thumbnails here, real quick. Yeah, no earthquake activity that I can see. Maybe one little speck of an earthquake here in the last few hours, but that's about it. Things very minimal and calm there at Yellowstone uh, National Park. Eastern portion of the country. It's a movement outside of the uh, OKC area and also around the New Madrid zone. Looks like a 2.1 and a 1.7 overnight. Nothing going on across the eastern portion of the country. Caribbean plate, fairly quiet as well. South America region, a um, little bit of movement into the Perchilli Trench, but it looks like we had another earthquake out here. Um, actually, it looks like there was two yesterday, the 4.9 and the 4.7, so nothing overnight. Down here, uh, along the Kermadec Trench and the New Zealand area, the latest earthquake shows a 4.4. Uh, in between Samoa and Fiji, it looks like, 398 kilometers deep. And this other earthquake activity here on the Kermadec Trench from yesterday. No further activity overnight. Uh, let's see what we got up here around the northern uh, Mariana Trench. North of there, it looks, in, looks like into the uh, northern end of the Mariana Trench, showing some activity with a 4.0 or 5.0 yesterday. Today, up towards the Izu Trench, got that 4.5 coming in. A little bit of movement off the coast there of Japan as well from yesterday. Uh, further west, not a whole lot of activity, just a couple small microquakes um, out there. Looks like around western, or uh, some earthquake activity around western China with that 4.9. Uh, the northern Atlantic Ocean got some movement with a 5.9 coming in yesterday but the big topic I think right now is the uh, definitely uh, Mauna Loa kicking off haven't really seen any major changes up here either at the Alaska region a couple small quakes there into the Cook Inlet area for now oh, let's see by the way I do have I do have a station there in Hawaii on the live stream um, called Hot Caves, the seismograph station. It's uh, kind of situated well, towards the southeast here, so all that activity last night was definitely showing up on the Hot Caves station. But it um, looks like some of the smaller activity isn't just barely noticeable there on the Hot Caves, so I may find a... Uh, see if we can't get a closer station here to the Mauna Loa summit area, or at least the northeast rift zone, uh, and see if we can't monitor the activity. Uh, because there's, it's going to be interesting to watch and see how this progresses um, today and the weeks and months ahead uh, and see where these lava flows go. Because a lot of times they do go um, over here towards populated communities, towards the northeast. So we'll watch that and see how close it gets with this eruption. Got pretty close in 1984 over here to Hilo, but uh, we'll see how it plays out, folks. Definitely uh, pretty crazy. All right, north, or uh, let's see here. The trimmer department, pretty quiet from yesterday. I wanted to check out 
volcanic seismicity here around the Mount Rene or uh, Mount St. Helens area. And let's see what we have for some activity. And it looks like a couple small microquakes across the area of Mount St. Helens today. Yesterday was pretty quiet, but uh, these little bitty earthquake swarms come and go. No major movement, uh, just a couple small quakes, very small, probably all below 1.0 there in the Mount St. Helens area. Crazy Mauna Loa. So, I think what I'm going to do here is maybe add a, a webcam feature here to Mauna Loa from Mauna Loa onto the live stream uh, to monitor the activity while solar weather is kind of at a, a calm period. Well, for the most part, it kind of actually looks like it's developed a little bit overnight uh, into the unsettled area. I don't know, it's hard to say here. I don't see any, uh, currently I don't think there are any, any indications that there would be any major unrest here with the solar weather. We do have a coronal hole that's facing us. The latest image here shows it directly facing the Earth, and that will definitely be geo-effective, but not, shouldn't be right now. Uh, it takes a couple days here for that to uh, take place uh, with possible, probably see a G1 storm uh, warning issued once that reaches Earth. But for now, it looks like these guys have a little bit of unsettled conditions here over the next couple days. KP index kind of minimal. Uh, it did kick up there around 5 last night. And uh, portions of Alaska, Canada, all these areas in northern latitudes seen some auroras overnight. Pretty lucky. Um, let's see here. But as uh, far as any solar flare activity, things are very calm on the sun currently from that uh, lack of activity. There's some sunspots, but they're not doing a whole lot on the sun currently. All right, folks, um, I'm going to get busy here. got to do a couple things. And like I mentioned, probably going, going to uh, switch this over to um, monitor a webcam there on the public domain of Mona Loa and uh, we'll see how that plays out. I think it's uh, definitely noteworthy to watch and see how this develops and again the earthquake globe is going to be cluttered with quakes around the big island that's expected but uh, I did raise the bar just enough uh, so that the other quakes across the globe show up as well because sometimes when there's a uh, a major swarm centralized somewhere it kind of takes a number of quakes off the globe for some reason but it uh, looks like everything uh, should be working as is now and uh, if anything changes here at Mona Lowe, we're going to be jumping right on again this thing just kicked up overnight when I was sleeping and um, I think while the majority of us were sleeping All right, folks, we'll be back a little bit later on tonight. Less sooner, unless something changes. Have a good Monday. Catch you guys here in a little bit.